Singapore is planting 100,000 corals in its waters over the next 10 years to shore up coastal defense while also boosting marine biodiversity. It's the largest such project here, and it takes place as the world feels the impact of climate change. Uh, this is how it's going to be done. Corals will first be grown in nurseries. Uh, when they are large enough to be moved, they'll be transplanted onto existing reefs or planted elsewhere to create new coral communities. The aim is to have large coral reefs around Singapore. They, of course, act as a natural barrier against waves, breaking up the force of storms and protecting the shoreline from erosion at the same time. A calmer waters also allow mangrove forests and seagrass meadows to thrive. These remove carbon from the atmosphere, which slows down global warming. Also, a quarter of all known marine animals live in coral reefs and their habitat is being threatened as seawaters get warmer. Coral reefs occupy a very, very small proportion of the world's ocean, less than 1% of the world's ocean. But yet they are important for biodiversity, they are important for livelihoods. 25% uh, of global community depend directly or indirectly on coral reefs, so they are really critical for the survival of people depend, uh, within the region who depend on coral reefs for their livelihoods. Our Singapore's coral reefs are home to over a hundred species of fish and 12 kinds of seagrass. There are over 250 species of hard corals alone as the tropical climate helps them flourish in our waters, although they begin to die if the water gets warmer than 31 degrees Celsius.